Hello. You join us now at the kickoff to a sleepy story all about a little moshling called Dribbles and the part he plays in a very big competition. So snuggle up, close your eyes, and relax. Dribbles is a moshling. A football, some might say. Though soccer is the actual game that Dribbles loves to play. He looks just like a football. With little hands and feet. He's probably the friendliest guy you'd ever hope to meet. Dribbles loves a kickabout. He'll join in any game. He's not the greatest player, but he loves it all the same. In fact, he loves the game so much he helps to clean the studs of the boots for all the players at the Moshi Football Club. He also washes socks and shorts and helps the players train and pulls the covers on the pitch in sleet and snow and rain. But when he's finished working, Dribbles practices his tricks in the empty moonlit stadium, bending in free kicks. Tonight is very special, as the Moshling football team are playing in the final which is every player's dream. This tournament finale is the biggest in the land. But right now things aren't going how they hoped or how they planned. The finals taking place in the famous Moshi Dome. So the Moshlings should be winning, cause this stadium's their home. But the team are one goal down and half times fast approaching. It seems as if the Moshlings have forgotten all their coaching. Their defense is in a muddle and their passings hit and miss. They've had some off games in the past, but none as bad as this. Their opponents in this final are a 
bunch of naughty clumps. Cheating little critters who think moshlings are all chumps. Their tackling is horrendous and they're always getting bookings. They'll even trip you over. When the referee's not looking, but none of this would matter if the moshlings upped their game. Cause soccer is a team sport. No one player is to blame. As the second half begins, Dribbles takes a seat. He spent half time collecting towels and massaging players' feet. The team coach, Mr. Snoodle, now turns around to Dribbles and shows him his new game plan in a notebook filled with scribbles. Snoodle thinks their only hopes to win some late free kicks. Cause the glumps are playing dirty with their shoves and sneaky trips. But thankfully, the Moshlings have a free kick superstar who can score a goal from any angle, even from afar. This player's called Mosh Messio, and now he has a shot. Cause the Moshlings have a free kick just beyond the penalty spot. A Moshling bunny taps the ball. Mosh Messio whacks it in. So now the score is one apiece. One more and they will win. second half continues, but time is running out, and the clumps are really cheating now. Of that there is no doubt. With minutes left, Mosh Messio trips over as he shoots, cause a glump undid the laces of his golden football boots. Mosh Messio is injured. It's game over for him. And he limps towards the dressing room, clutching his poor shin. Mr. Snoodle's upset, but the glumps just point and laugh. As the clock counts down the final minutes of this second half, the Moshlings have a free kick, but the team have lost their star. 
and they haven't got a player who can kick a ball that far. Mr. Snoodle needs to make a clever substitution. Then Dribbles whispers nervously, I might have a solution. Dribbles tells Mr. Snoodle, free kicks are his thing. Especially from a distance, when they're way out on the wing. Mr. Snoodle laughs, but then Mosh Messio comes back and says, it's true, I watched his kid. He gives the ball some whack. Dribbles is amazed by what Mosh Messio has said. He always thought the players went home early, straight to bed. Mr. Snoodle shrugs. I guess we got nothing to lose. Come on, get your boots on, son. I'll tell the ref the news. Dribbles runs onto the pitch. The stadium goes nuts. No one knows who Dribbles is, but boy, has he got guts. The glumps all laugh cause Dribbles is quite round, just like a ball. In fact, he doesn't look much like a footballer at all. falls silent as the ball's placed on the grass. To score from way out here will take a kick of grace and class. The glump team stand and sneer while their captain points and giggles. But little do they know that no one Bends it quite like Dribbles. Dribbles takes a long, deep breath and gazes at the ball while the glumps link up in front of him to form a glumpy wall. Dribbles thinks of victory and walks back several paces then glances down to check that no one's fiddled with his laces. Now he hears the whistle blow and runs towards the ball. From way back here, the goal mouth looks so very, very small. Dribbles kicks the football and gives it lots of spin. Then watches as it swings. 
swerves around the wall and smashes in. The stadium goes crazy as the final whistle blows. That ball flew in with so much swerve, the keeper simply froze. The Moshlings say the goal might be the best they've ever seen. While Dribbles feels as if he's in a quite amazing dream. Mosh Messio limps on the pitch, smiles and whispers, Wow! As a commentator says, they think it's all over. It is now. The Moshling team hug Dribbles, and as they lift him up, a very important Moshling presents him with the cup. Dribbles is so happy to have helped the Moshlings win, and Mr. Snoodle shakes his hand, wearing a huge Grin. I can't believe it, Snoodle says. Just look at what you've achieved. You knew that you could score that goal when no one else believed. More than that, I hope each of my players recognizes that you prove heroes come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Eventually, the partying ends and Dribbles is alone, tired. But at least he now knows 